Okay, we're rolling. Uh, I'm Bill Pickle, Wheat State Chapter. And this is some of my toy collection. I thought I'd bring let some of the grown ups and kids look at them. Some that I've restored. And some are just like they were when I found them. Well, I see you have a uh, old Tonka, what would it be like an F-300 Ford? Right, that's a 1955 Tonka truck with the low boy and the steam shovel. Now, that, were those sold as a set then? or? Yes. Yeah, so you've got the Nylet, it looks more like an early 60s Ford with a yeah, it's in the camper. Late 60s or early 70s with the truck and camper together. And the top will come off so you can put people or furniture in there. How long have you had these? Oh, I probably had the two of them 15 or 20 years. I've just been picking up parts at garage sales and stuff to put on them. This one didn't have a roof on it when I got it. I had to find mm. an old junk truck that had a good roof. Did you have to repaint it to match? I or repainted, they all... repainted the whole truck. Repainted the trailer and the rest of the stuff's got the all original paint. And I had to find tracks for on the caterpillar because they were rotted off. Well, that's good. A little less expensive hobby than the full size, a little, though. A little less expensive than the big trucks. <laughs> But I happen to have both. I've got large and small. And we've, we've filmed video of your international before, but if you want to, let's go ahead and if you want to tell us about it again, and then we can. So. 46 International K3 with a wrecker on it. The wrecker is a. 1929 Weaver that was uh, from a local person here. And I've got a article on the back window about him. Let's see if the folks can see that. I think that's in focus. He bought new in Hutchinson in 1932. Hey, right, by O.J. Packenbush, installed on a 32 Chevy and moved it when he went to the farm and used the Chevy as a farm truck, which he still has. Oh, you ought to have him bring it to a meeting sometime. <laughs> oh, he said he passed on. All right. Yeah, he, he died while our show was going on in 2008. Now I'll move around the front, get a shot of it. How long have you had the truck? Oh, I imagine probably 15 or 20 years. And I just really got serious about restoring it about three years ago. So, because I knew the national show was coming to Hutchinson <laughs> and I wanted to have it done for it. What did you need to do to it? Oh, just paint and reconditioning and tires. It's all kinds of little work. Brakes, generator, all, uh, starter, carburetor, fuel pump, lots of work. You didn't have to overhaul it or anything like no, that? No, didn't to get have it. to overhaul the engine. Well, thanks for bringing it today. I think everybody enjoys seeing that. And, uh, 
and old toys. So.